How you feeling this week, man? Well, I'm feeling good. Just ready to fight, ready to get in there. Is it, uh, you've had a, a few of these, not a ton, but but uh, is it something that you still are getting used to having a fight week and, and just kind of getting to know yourself with how you uh, adjust to, to the fight week itself? Like interviews and stuff like that? Well, that like this. and like, just like how you kind of approach things as, as you know that the fight's just a few days away. Um, no, I just take everything day at a time. You know, I really focus on really much, but just focus on the fight itself. Um, my mind is always clear, and I'm always focused on what I need to do. The uh, the debut went about as good as you could have hoped for, really. Yeah. Did you spend the 50000 already? It's going. <laughs> it's going, for sure. I mean, you know, um, you know, I did a lot of things that I never did before. I did a lot of things for my kids, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, you know, gave them a lot of stuff that I never had. Like I just did a lot of, I did a lot of stuff for my family. You know what I'm trying to say, and you know that's just what I thought was important. So, um, how does the second one feel? I mean, you got the the debut out of the way. You got a finish. You got a bonus. Does that make coming into this week all the more, all the all the easier? Um. Yeah. I mean. It's all the same. Every time I step in, every time I step in there, the feeling, and the emotion is all the same. Like it's never, it's never gonna get easier. Uh, I'm never gonna feel more pressure than the last fight. I'm always going there with the same motivation, you know. So, um, yeah, I got, I got the same feeling as my debut. Um, you know, I'm still going there looking for another fifty thousand bonus, you know. So, yeah, we're gonna just handle business like we always do. Did you go into that first one last time thinking that you had a chance to get a fifty thousand bonus? Or is that something that there was a goal when you went into the fight? Yeah, that's every, every time I fight, that's the goal. You know what I'm trying to say? Get that. You know what I mean? Um, that's what, I mean, my, my type of fighting style, I think that I could get that, you know? So that's definitely what I want. Talk about um, the opportunity you have to, uh, to open up the main card. It's supposed to be on ESPN. Would have been a great opportunity for you to, you know, to be on a big network. ESPN Plus is no slouch, as we're learning, but, um, but you still get to open up a main card mm -hmm. this early in your career. Can you kind of talk about the opportunity and what that means to you? Um, it's exciting, you know, it's exciting. Um, you know, a, lot of, a lot of emotions, but I could just say that you know, I'm just taking it, taking it like it's a regular fight. You know, like I'm not fighting on TV. Like I'm not really worried about none of that. Just worried about going to handle business. You know, um, this is a very good opportunity to showcase my skills and just go out there and handle business. Talk to me about um, about your opponent, what he brings to the table, what you've been able to, to find out about him. Um, I know he's got some finishes recently, um, and obviously he's got you know quite a few more fights than you over mm -hmm. over his career. But what have you learned about him? Um, I'm not worried about him, to be honest with you. Um, my coaches study him, they tell me what they feel like I need to work on. But honestly, like, he just like everybody else I fought, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, there's nothing special, nothing different about him. Um, you know, he's going to come forward, he's going, he like he likes to fight, you know what I mean? So, it's going to be a good fight. That's all that matters, you know what I'm trying to say? It don't matter what he do while I'm in there, it only matter about what I do. Um, so... Yeah, I'm. I'm not worried about him. Do you look at anything uh, of your opponent's past fights at all? No, I mean I leave that to my coaches. You know, my coaches deal with that, and then they come to the, the. You know, they come to me while we're training. They tell me what they feel like I need to work on, and then I take it from there. You know, um, I don't like looking at videos because like I think about them too much. You know, think about like what they're gonna do. Think about what they can do. Like, oh, they might look better on like video than what it really was. You know, so it's like I just take my time. Just like. Just go through the process, let my coaches tell me, and just take it day by day. Has that always been uh, sort of your the way you've been? Because I know a lot of fighters are different. I mean, we've talked to guys who are like, yeah, I watch everything of my opponents yeah. for the past five years as much as I can get my hands on. Yeah. And guys like you are like, yeah, uh, Saturday night might be the first time you'll see mm -hmm. what he actually does. Um, yeah, I've always been like this. Uh, like my coach Adam told me, um, we don't worry about what they're gonna do. We worry about what we're gonna do. You know what I'm trying to say? So. Like, I don't know if I curse, but fuck what he, he gonna do. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, he could do whatever the fuck he wanna do. Like, I know I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna handle my business and I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna let everything come out. All the training, all the hard work, like, it's all gonna come out Saturday night. You ha would you be happy with uh, anything short of a finish or is just getting a W good enough? Um, I wouldn't finish, but that's just me. You know what I mean? Uh, like, I, I wouldn't finish. I don't wanna go to the judges. The judges never gonna see the fight how you want them to, you know? So I want to finish either in the first, second, or third. I don't want to go to judges. Either submission, knockout, whatever it is. I just want to go in there and handle it. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. He did say you've never been put into deep waters, and that's what he's going to try to do. Try to uh, put you in trouble, see how you react. 
Um, that's I, that's bullshit. Uh, I actually fought. I actually fought a guy. Um, I'm gonna give him a shout out right now. Shohei Yamamoto, um, which, which is a local guy. This is my third fight. Well, fourth fight. And he put me in deep waters. He pushed me. He he showed me that I belong here. You know what I mean? Um, he's not in the UFC, but he damn near got the caliber to be in the UFC. You know what I'm trying to say? Um, I fought a lot of good guys. Like he he. I keep hearing him say, "Oh, he never fought nobody like me." Like fuck that. Everybody I fought was good. Like, what 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 you gonna do that nobody else haven't done? Everybody pressured me. Everybody came forward. Everybody threw punches. Like there's nothing you gonna do that's different. You know. So I've been in deep waters and I got out of deep waters, you know, so yeah, he's not going to bring nothing different.